Hi everyone, it's Ollie from Magic Hands Hobbies. Welcome to the new video. This one is the next in the Hero Quest line that I'm uh, producing, and we're going to be painting the Barbarian today. It's going to be a very simple process, I'm not going into huge amounts of detail. The intention is that the um, additional models that came out for this set, that were the opposite sex, so in this case this is the male barbarian, the female barbarian, I'll be showing a more in-depth method of painting. So starting with the darker brown, this will provide an overall base tone and shadow for the, uh, the barbarian. The skin here I'm not going to be doing a wash over the top of, I'm going to rely on layering. So we're gradually going to build up through the colours through lighter colours, paler colours as we move up towards a final highlight covering smaller and smaller areas. Now you can see here that my brush has not got a very good tip on it. Now for some reason my brushes are uh, not falling to pieces but are um, falling into disrepair and I've actually recently got a new brush cleaning and brush restorer uh, liquid from uh, Green Stuff World, it's a gel. I'm going to put up a little video on that just to show you how to restore your brushes to the perfect point. It's a very, very good uh, product, but that will be in another video. So I'm just working my way through the flesh tones, gradually picking out the upper parts of the muscles with lighter and lighter colours covering smaller and smaller areas. It's a very simple process. A lot of people use zenithal highlights to guide them with regards to where to put the, um, the highlights on. Um, on muscles and skin tones and how to blend it all together. I know Squidmar Miniatures um, he also did a very good tutorial on how to pick out highlights and link muscle groups and flesh tones together. Uh, I thought it was a very good, uh, very good tutorial, so have a look out for that video on his channel. You can see I'm mainly focusing on the tops of the muscles um, with the intention that light is working its way down from above. So we're now working on the final highlight of the skin. Just picking out the very, very highest points of each of the muscles. Skin then. Now we're going to move on to the hair. Now, when I first did the hair, I did this as a very basic dark brown with um, a couple of lighter tones over the top. I ended up not being particularly happy with that and um, I actually went back in and redid the hair. I also added some additional colours, uh, kind of following the box art. And unfortunately, um, as some of you may know, I lost some footage recently and that was part of the footage that I lost so I won't be able to show you that but hopefully on my next uh, video for the female barbarian where I go into far more depth and more advanced techniques uh, and certainly take more time over it I'll be able to um, show my uh, the, the technique that I use for painting the hair. So now moving on to the loincloths 
Um, I'm going to use this colour to cover anything that is potentially cloth uh, and fur on the uh, on the barbarian. Again, the, the, I was saying that, that the fur on the legs, um, I end up changing that as well because um, I decided that I don't want it the same as the as the loin cloth. Um, unfortunately, again, that was in footage that uh, I've lost. Picking out the leather straps and the bindings, including the belt that he's wearing with this uh, lighter brown, uh, sorry, this darker brown colour. Um, unfortunately I forgot to press record when I painted on the gold and silver which is just typical so it's just a basic gold basic silver you can see me finishing off the sword this is after I realized that I'd uh, forgotten to press record what I'll do in the more advanced version of this is I will actually put additional highlights um, and probably put some glow effects into the runes of the female, bar female barbarian sword. Okay, moving on to the, the washes now. Start with the brown wash, Agrax Earthshade. I'm going to put this over all of the gold and all of the loincloths and uh, clothing. see it sinks into the recesses it will stain the colors it will make them very slightly darker um, but it is actually the kind of effect that I, I like to go for now we're going to move on to the black the black wash is going to go over the silver and I'm also going to use it to go back over the loincloth the idea being to provide some variation to the staining um, make it look a bit worn and dirty and grubby by putting it over the hair, um, it's doing the same thing. It's, it's making the dark parts darker um, and it leaves the original paint to a degree, although slightly stained, uh, with a highlight. What you don't want to do is um, have the wash pooling. So that's why you see me returning to little areas. That's me, um, I dry off the brush every so often. Um, just so you can then bring it back and it will soak up any excess. Okay, moving on to the base. I'm going to cover this completely in dark stone. I really like this colour. Um, I won't be applying any wash to it, I don't think there's any need to. I'm going to cover the whole base with dark stone and then come in with a highlight colour and dry brush over the top of it. Now the Barbarian is the only one that actually has anything modelled on the base, in this particular case a stone, um, and it has a textured base as well. Uh, but over, over all the heroes and even the creatures that are in the new um, Hero Quest set, this is the only one that actually has anything on the base, which is a little disappointing. I was kind of hoping that at the very least all of the heroes would have something on their bases. But um, I decided that I'm not going to try and texturize the bases in uh, this particular instance. I might, I might give it a go later on. So that's the dark stone applied. Then we go over with a dry brush. Just trying to pick out the uh, the edges and make the base pop. And that'll be it for the final step on this. Um, I've got photos of how I ended up finishing the Barbarian. Um, apologise, apologies that I didn't actually um, have the footage. Unfortunately, I did lose that after I decided to go back, like I said. But I will hopefully be able to include that in the, uh, the next video of the female Barbarian where I'll go into more, more uh, advanced techniques. I take my time 
and really get the, the blends looking sweet. One final coat of the stone colour around the base just to clean it all up, give it a nice smooth finish. Basic Barbarian completed, not very good hair unfortunately um, and I uh, didn't put any colour on it at this stage but these are photos of the Barbarian finished. It's a very basic technique, um, you can see it's quite rough and ready but on the gaming table it actually looks really good. Um, I was happy with it but uh, yeah, keep your ears posted for um, the female where I go into way more detail. Thank you, I'll see you on the next video, bye!